Hello YouTube! In today's video, we are going to learn how to use solder paste. It is one of the popular soldering skills. The main advantage of using solder paste is that you can save time. Because when you use soldering iron, you have to solder the pins one by one. But when you use solder paste, you don't really have to solder pins one by one. All you have to do is using a hot air and let the solder flow itself. Okay, let's get started. For the example, I'm going to use solder paste and a heat gun. Then I'm going to solder this small electric component on a laptop motherboard. I am now applying solder paste on the contact points. Looks like I have enough solder paste. Now let me bring the chip and gently place it on the board. It is now time to apply heat. My favorite temperature is 400 Celsius and the air blow level is set to 35%. As you see on the video, the solder balls started to melt and then it's creating a strong joint between the contact pins and the chipset. That's it, that's how to use solder paste and a heat gun to do a soldering. I'm going to show you one more example. As always, the first step is to apply solder paste before anything. The amount of solder paste is really important. Using too much solder paste will result bridges between pins and using a not enough solder paste will result a weaker joint between the pins and the contact points. My heat gun is at 400 Celsius and at 35% of air blow level. Applying excessive amount of hot air will result damages in your chip or components. If your air blow is too strong, then those small components will fly away from your board and you'll never gonna f 